something like that. That's a song by the who? Came out in 1971, I think, uh, Who's Next came out, right? Yeah, 1971. Doing that song today because today is Keith Moon's birthday. The great Keith Moon, greatest drummer in the world. Died at the age of th 32, which is an absolute miracle that he made it to the age of 32. Some people are just like that. Sorry. But I tell you what, they called him Madman Moon or what it, whatever. He was the wildest person uh, yeah, in rock history. I, 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 I could probably make that statement. I don't, I don't, but you know, at the same time, I don't think he hurt anybody. Uh, he destroyed a lot of property, a lot of property. But, you know, you know, that's what rock and rollers used to do back in the day. Uh, yeah, so it was his birthday today. And to celebrate his birthday back in 1967, here's a fun story. He uh, drove his Lincoln car into a Holiday Inn swimming pool. Uh, so the party started to get out of control and the police were called, which often happens. You know, disturbing the peace, all that fun stuff. They were supposed to put an end to the festivities festivities and mr moon uh he he wasn't the biggest fan of the boys in blue uh so he got into his car outside and attempted to make a getaway luckily he didn't kill anyone unfortunately in his inebriated state he released the handbrake and began rolling towards the pool so he was okay so he was running away from the police so he decided to hide and so he wasn't driving okay so he was hiding from the police in his uh he got into a uh limousine a lincoln limousine and attempted to make a getaway i don't think he had the keys but he released the handbrake and he started rolling backwards towards the pool the pool and then he apparently just simply sat back and waited as the car crashed through the fence around the pool and then into the water where then um obviously he didn't die i guess he escaped from the pool as it was sink uh from the lincoln as it was sinking into the pool and that's one little snapshot into the life of keith moon luckily he had the who to direct some of that energy towards like just the most unique drummer you could ever imagine he would play on stage uh, and not have a hi-hat because he uh, he was like annoyed by the hi-hat. And, and so he had two kick drums and would just keep time with everything, with the, with the toms, with the snare, so many cymbals, all this stuff. They did like a s scientific study of Keith Moon and did a video of him and slowed it down like the bit rate or the frame rate to see how fast he was actually hitting the drums. And they determined that he could hit the drums faster than a machine gun could fire. Uh, that's that's something else. Um, but he wasn't just fast; like he had, he was really tasteful, and um, in my opinion, really forceful, like a primal force. But he could be quite tasteful and very melodic in his playing. There's a tune the Who does, "Happy Happy Jack." If you listen to that song, you can hear him almost singing, you know, lead lines through the toms. Um, it's amazing. And all of his work on Tommy is just phenomenal. So, uh, yeah, this one today is for Keith Moon. Oh, yeah, Love Ain't For Keeping, that's off of Who's Next. And that's one of the first Who songs I ever uh, played um, as a kid. Because it's relatively easy. It's, you know, it's just a... So it only uses A, G, D, and then C occasionally. And then all that flashy guitar stuff from Townsend um, that is uh, not really composed, it just kind of pops out of him. Uh, that's why I didn't really nail the end because it's really hard to play it when you're not Pete Townsend. Um, so yeah, that was uh, Love Ain't For Keeping. That's one of my, the first Who songs that I learned. Um, but it's really 
it's pretty tough to sing because Roger Daltrey's got such a high range and such a power powerhouse voice. Um, so I just did it, you know, octave down on the verses and then octave up on the uh, on the chorus. Hope you enjoyed it. That's our song of the day, August twenty third, two thousand twenty four.